If you've been looking for a GTA Online RP server, then look no further than Grand RP. They have truly one of the best open free servers on the market. Whether you're brand new or a veteran, go do yourself a favor and go down below in the description. Click that referral link and register now. And entering Grand Now as a promo code will earn you an extra $25,000 of in-game money to start your brand new GTA RP life. Thanks again, Grand RP, for the sponsor, and let's hop right into it. I, as well as probably the rest of the GTA community, can agree that I'm kind of worried that we haven't gotten a trailer or some sort of announcement about a DLC coming in the next few weeks here for GTA Online. Yeah, it's, it's coming. It is, but we haven't heard anything about it other than some few leaks here and there about Michael possibly being in it, about it even possibly having to do with the movie studio as well. Sorry, Red Dead Online fans like myself, uh, <laughs> you're probably not getting anything. Uh, believe me, it's really disappointing that they wasted that masterpiece and just completely neglected it like a, like a stepchild, but uh, that's not really up to us. It didn't, according to them, make enough money, so uh, we can't really do anything about that at this point. But we can still have high hopes for GTA Online, unless you're me and I've been doing some thinking and I would like to explain. Right now, this next DLC is kind of a lose-lose situation for Rockstar. With GTA and GTA Online now being on the next generation of consoles, the PS5 and the Xbox series, they can do bigger and better updates, and they can do them more frequently, which they're not going to do. They're probably going to stick to their biannual DLC release once in the middle of the summer and once in the winter. Which is still disappointing, but anyways, the reason why I don't think it's going to be a super big DLC is because PS4 and Xbox One are still going to be receiving these updates, and the only reason I know that is because they haven't quite yet revealed or said anything about ending the PS4 or Xbox One updates, which they should soon if they want to continue updating GTA Online to make it bigger and better like the fans want. We want map expansions, we want big cool heists we want you know we want a lot more things to do especially when we're stuck with this game for another foreseeable future probably the next two or three years we're going to be stuck with this game so why not make the updates bigger and better for the people that of course can you know have access to them and when I say next-gen consoles like PS5 and Xbox Series, keep in mind I also do mean the PC version of the game. The PC version of the game can run better than even the next generation of consoles in some cases. Rockstar announced both the PS3 and Xbox 360 whether they were not getting updates anymore. That was years ago. The last update they got was ill-gotten gains back in 2015. And then they even announced that the servers were going to be shut off. So once they do shut down the PS4 or Xbox One updates or servers, they are going to announce that they're going to give us a pretty big window of opportunity. A few months or maybe even a year possibly, somewhere around that time frame, to you know, kind of say our goodbyes or get the last update in. I'm highly confident that the PS4 and Xbox One versions of GTA Online will be getting this new summer update, and that doesn't mean it's not going to be big. I mean, last year, they did get the contract update, and they did get an auto shop update. Those are fairly big, as well as KO Perico, you know, they can still kind of run it at their shitty little 30 frames. They're not doing too bad, especially if you have the pro versions of the console, but one of these days, it's gonna end if Rockstar wants to continue making these big, massive updates for GTA Online, or just go crazy and add a map expansion which i really think would be very possible on the next gen and pc versions of the game but of course i want to hear what you guys think uh i i don't really have a whole lot of high hopes but i also said that last year when auto shop dlc came out so i'd like to hear what you guys think as well so of course let me know what you guys think we should be receiving a trailer or some sort of big newswire post about a new update and what it's actually gonna be and what it's gonna add rockstars also promised that they were supposed to make some pvp vehicle changes to the expanded and enhanced versions of the game they said that months ago in a newswire post and we still haven't seen anything but um yeah we should be receiving this update sometime at the end of july maybe even early august um, I hope it's not early August. I really want a new update in this game. We're at this weird point where, uh, you know, it's been six months since the last new update and we want something to play. We want something to do. These past few event weeks have been nice and making money has been quite easy. 
but you know obviously with ko perico you can make as much money as possible so I hopefully the new update is actually worth doing for more than a week but uh god how many times have you said that now far too many at the end of the day we're still reaching the ninth year of this game's life cycle so I doubt that we're going to be super occupied whenever or whatever this update is going to be dropping, but we should be expecting it in the next few weeks, and I can almost guarantee that I'll, I'll put everything on the line. Actually, no, not everything on the line. I don't... <laughs> who knows what Rockstar's up to, honestly. Well, hopefully by this time next year, or maybe even later in this year, that the last updates will be releasing on PS4 and Xbox One, and it kind of works out for Rockstar. These consoles, these new next-gen consoles are pretty hard to get your hands on, yeah, but they are getting easier and easier. And if you buy a new PS5 or Xbox Series X or S version, then you're going to have to buy GTA again. So it's in their best interest at a business standpoint to kind of be like, hey, here's your final warning. Go get the next gen consoles now or by the time the next update rolls around because your PS4 and your Xbox One are no longer going to be getting these updates. It kind of would work out because then they would get an extra 20, 40 bucks from each person who had to not only buy that console but had to re buy GTA 5 or GTA Online again. Uh, luckily, uh, we were able to get it for free on PS5 through PlayStation Plus. Uh, or else I probably may have not even touched it unless I saw reviews and then I might have been interested and it was still cheap 10 20 bucks at the time But now that the discount is completely off the table You're gonna be forking over the full price of like 40 bucks or whatever, which is kind of insane For a 9 10 year old game, but that is the fault heart That is a harsh harsh reality that you will have to face when getting these new next-gen consoles and if they stop updates for the old generation, that is just a warning. So be on the lookout for that if you're still on the old generation of consoles playing GTA Online. At the end of the day, this update will be coming out in a few weeks. And Rockstar has surprised us in the past, even with the Auto Shop DLC, the Tuners DLC. That one kind of blew me away and I was really, really happy about how that turned out. Same with the Contract DLC. Some of the new vehicles and uh, Amani tech cars, those are really, really cool. So I'd like to see more of those. Let me know what you guys think about the whole ordeal here uh, in this video with a comment down below. And uh, yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Turn on post notifications, and if you'd like to financially support the channel, best way to do so is by becoming a member down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.